YouTube. Hi. This is my daughter Sarah, and I wanted to show you her hair. She <clears throat> she is natural, and as you guys know, I'm tech slax, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you this hair. Now, I'm actually being hypocritical because I put chemicals in my hair. Would I ever put any chemicals in her hair? Absolutely no. not. I don't believe in putting chemicals in her hair. Why? I don't want her hair to get destroyed at all. Whatever, you know, so whatever choices she decides to make when she grows up about doing whatever, she can. But it's this. I'm going to actually show you some pictures of how she used to look as a child so you can get to see her hair. I started braiding her hair since she was two years old. I would braid it once a week. I would always grease her scalp, braid it, take it out after the week again, braid it because, I mean, I, it, got, it gets tiring over and over again having to comb, comb, comb. So I was like, you know what, let me just braid it and leave it alone. And when she reached nine years old, she's 11 now, when she reached nine, I decided to give her her first straightening. And it touched her butt and I was like, oh, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so she actually got her trim. Um, I took her to the hairdresser just to get a blow dry. So like, and um, like and the hairdresser said she had a... Yeah, turn around, Sarah. The hairdresser said she had a lot of split ends. And I didn't even want her to cut it. But I just needed them to blow dry her hair because it gets so thick. So um, I probably do this every <coughs> two to three months. I'll blow dry it just so I'm like she can, because she asks me like when she'll have a party in school and to blow dry it. So three months ago, I took it to the hairdresser and they cut off five inches of her hair. So Sarah, go on your tippy toes for me. Yeah, so as you can see, these are the bottom of her jeans. That's tailbone right there. And it was touching her tailbone, <laughs> sorry. It was touching her tailbone, and now that's what the that's how much of the hair just trimmed off. I was so pissed off. I was like, "Really? We're going here for all this time?" Anyways, turn around, Sarah, and then show them the front. Um, and hairdresser, I'm gonna show you a clip from three months back when the hairdresser did straighten it out. This is my my real hair, everybody. Long, this and flawless. So you just saw that clip, that's her playing around with her other hair. And so I'm about to braid it up again. I do this every week for her. So <laughs> it's weird because, all right, I'm going to let her talk for a little bit and tell you about what she thinks about chemicals and about natural hair. Go ahead, Sarah. Chemicals. I feel like if you put too much, it will like destroy your hair. And make sure you, you look um, at the ingredients in like, like your bottle or something like that. Like, like let's say it's like, this or something and like you you should look at the um, ingredients like the ingredients here <laughs> and um if it says like if it has like acid or something that can destroy your hair or or like trim it off or something like that you shouldn't put that in your hair so make sure you read the um, the ingredients on your bottles. And how do you feel about relaxers? You know how mommy got a relaxer, but no, mommy's not giving that to you. Yeah, relaxer. Mm -hmm. um, relaxer. Would you ever put one in your hair when you grow up? Um, no, because like I really like the fact that it burns on your scalp. So if you like leave it in too long, it'll burn like like everything like off. So um, and then you're just you'll just have like a flat like a huge forehead or something like that. So I don't recommend you doing. Hold on. That. I don't recommend you doing that. And how do you feel about color? Color, um, it's nice to get highlights, but don't color your hair. And what do you would you um, want to get highlights or no? 
No, I would use one of those clip-on thingies, like you know what you put the in weave. your hair. Yeah, mm. the, the, like the, the, um, yeah, those things. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I pretty much w raised her against chemicals and coloring. Yes, it's hypocritical because I've done coloring, I've done relaxers, and I'm due for another relaxer right now. But the thing is, I don't want her to go through what I went through. And if I could go back in time, I would do this. You know what I mean? I would definitely... And even though her hair is really tangly right now, and I'm going to go untangle this by giving her some braids um, because school is this week, um, I definitely think that it can still be straightened with the flat iron once every two to three months um, or even for a special occasion and it looks very pretty and it lasts yes but when she goes back to being natural her hair is so healthy and it's so strong and like I couldn't you know I couldn't be happier with it and her hair is getting longer and longer and I hope it grows back because we want to get back to that tailbone like that so I was pissed off at that hairdresser so um, anyways so I hope you enjoyed this video and it, yes it's kind of contradicting but um oh i want to thank the subscriber that actually asked me that question a subscriber asked me um about braids she's like oh is it okay to put braids instead of just putting the hair back in one for protective style i love braids i use them in her hair all the time and um, i just washed her hair so i'm about to braid it again so if you have guys if have any questions comments please subscribe yeah, and if you want to hear from sarah again or ask her any questions she's going to be 12 soon and she's my pride and joy so anyways thank you guys for watching bye, bye.